fire that you started in me But you never came back to ask it out Watch my heart blow <laughs> Billie Eilish, oh boy. With over 1 billion streams worldwide, she's on the fast track to take over the world. I mean, the wild success that Billie had in a span of one year shows how much the world was hungry for her talent. Her voice is more beautiful than my face. Her hoodie is worth more than my existence. When she was 13, she made her first viral song. When I was 13, I watched Spongebob and uh, yeah, that was it. But when I was blasting Billy's songs on repeat the other day, I couldn't help myself but wonder, how could somebody who has it all still be this sad? We're all sad as hell. All these artists, we're sad as shit, dude. Everybody I know that's an artist, we are sad mother That's the way it is. So what's happening to her? After months of research, I finally cracked Billy's case. This is the most important video that I'll ever make. If you stick around, I'll share an exclusive interview that I did with Billie Eilish. My life was completely changed after I sat down with her and understood her struggles. Now let me tell you why Billy's case is special. I don't want to be you anymore. It was very clear that this homeschooled kid was destined for a bright future. Being insanely gifted from this young age isn't a curse, but it does change your game a bit. It becomes harder to fit in, and it probably doesn't help that Billy's conversations are filled with mature and dark topics. Fame freaks you out a little bit? Bro, of course it does. That yeah. shit is terrifying. But I'm gonna die one day, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. What does it? I, everything, nothing matters. I think some stuff matters. Nothing matters. Love matters. It matters while you're there, but eventually you're dying and then nothing matters and whatever. I think I know way too much already. I have seen more than anyone uh, my age should see. <laughs> I swear when I was her age, all I can think about is how it feels to chew five gum. Clearly her thoughts and interests are wildly different from normal teenagers, which make you feel isolated and lonely. The moment you feel like you don't belong with normal people, you'll start to be ashamed of yourself. Think about it. If I'm different, I'd start to imagine that everybody thinks that I'm the weird one. The problem is me. I'd start to hate myself for no reason. I really, 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 really hate myself. You know, you can feel so unbelievably lost and horrible and like you're nothing and you're invisible and for no reason at all which is almost worse than having a reason. I don't want kids only because I don't want to have a kid like me. I would, I might just throw myself, if I was my kid, off a roof. Billie Eilish had a 2500% increase in followers in a span of one year. An incredibly fast rise to fame drains your battery no matter who you are. To discuss the dangerous side effects of a sudden jump in popularity, I reached out to Billie to see if she'd be down to have a little chat with me. I was pissing myself when she responded and I can't wait to show you guys how awesome she was. Dudes and Dudettes, please welcome Billie Eilish. Hey, good to see you Billie, have a seat. Thank you. First of all, I gotta say, out of all the experts in the world, you chose me to give you life advice. <laughs> I'm flattered. Mm -hmm. I'm so sad right now and I don't know why. I have fame. Talent, money, success, and I'm still sad. What's left? What, why every artist like me has to be this sad? I understand. Not to brag or anything, but I have 50,000 subscribers. Uh, so, without a doubt, I'm the best person to help you. Oh yeah? Yeah, just to show you that I can relate to how you're feeling. I'm going to share a very private moment in my life. I was starting out on YouTube and getting less than 100 views, right? Then out of nowhere, I did this animation with Charisma on Command that was viewed by hundreds of thousands of people. I broke down in tears and didn't know why. Uh, this is supposed to be a good thing, right? Turns out, I wasn't prepared for this sudden exposure. It's like, you know that feeling when you're at Starbucks and a stranger was looking at you? You feel uncomfortable. But now, instead of one pair of eyeballs, thousands of eyeballs are looking at you. 
Like I said, I wasn't prepared for this sudden explosion in balls. Uh, eyeballs, I mean. You have Billie Eilish on your channel. You're supposed to listen to my troubles. Instead, you're talking about your YouTube adventures. I can't. Worst interview ever. Wait, I'm famous. I can relate. Too bad she didn't let me finish my story. I would have told her that the point was to showcase how much pressure I felt when I had all these eyeballs on me. Multiply that pressure by a quintillion and you'd get Billie Eilish. It must have been like super hard for her to grow up with all these eyes on her and people putting pressure on her to perform and be like this perfect role model when she's just a kid. It seems like everybody wants fame, but once they have it, they can't get away from it fast enough. Fame makes you vulnerable because it throws you open to unlimited judgment. And if you woke up and found yourself famous, if you're not prepared to deal with this overwhelming pressure all of a sudden, uh, game over. Everybody I know that's an artist, we are sad mother fuckers. From Van Gogh and Beethoven to Avicii and Robin Williams, we've all heard about the tortured creative, whose art is admired by millions of people, yet who are under extreme depression. So is Billie Eilish just another case of the tortured artist stereotype? Do you have to be mentally unstable to be a genius? Short answer, no. We should stop romanticizing the idea that creative people are sad. That's far away from the truth and there's no concrete evidence showing a link between creativity and mental illness. Look at this artist. He's the best example because he's genius and happy. And he has 50,000 subscribers. I think we like to comfort ourselves. Oh, this guy made the amazing thing that he made? He must be crazy. That's the only explanation, there's no way a normal person can do this. Of course, that's just ridiculous. Some people think that she's putting on this fake, oh look at me, I hate my life persona. And yeah, of course, many people now fake depression to get some attention, but I just don't think that's the case with her. Uh, after watching every interview that has Billie Eilish in the title, I just came to the conclusion that this is a girl who had her own problems before. And now she got thrown into the music industry that is designed to squeeze every last bit of your sanity. And add on top of that, that she blew up overnight. That gotta be a oof. Thing is, yeah, I've been through depression my whole life. It's something I've dealt with. Like, and I know tons of other teenagers have, and you know, kids, and adults, and elders, and YouTubers. <laughs> and one last crazy thing about her is that this girl works hard. Show after show, interview after interview. It's uh... Guys, she always goes to interviews and performs live with a broken ankle. A broken ankle. It's insane the level of workaholism that she has. I hate to be that guy, but she probably needs a well-deserved break. Yo, Billie Eilish, I know you're watching this. Sorry about that interview. If you want to make another one, I'd be happy to. If you can tell from the video, I'm a huge fan and uh, please DM me if you want to make another interview. If you didn't know, I have 50,000 subscribers and I think you can get some really big time exposure out of me. Subscribe for more interviews.